From fish that glow in the dark to animal-human hybrids, here are 10 creatures created by scientists that will make you wonder, has science gone too far? Number 10, spider goats. Wait, what? After the inception of Spider-Man and Marvel Studios, researchers at Utah State University and the University of Wyoming were inspired. They have successfully created a hybrid goat that spews out high contents of spider silk in its milk, because that was something I was definitely missing in my life. We all know that the special silk gene found in spiders helps them form webs and catch their prey. Spider silk is believed to be really tough, and given its mass density, it is regarded to be even tougher than steel. The scientists were hoping to find a way to harvest spider silk on a large scale since it actually could have many different useful applications. So the university researchers found a way to incorporate a harvested spider gene into a common goat's DNA and hallelujah, it worked! The goat's milk was later tested and high silk protein contents were found in almost 70% of the specimens. This could lead to a new range of applications in the medical as well as the automobile industry. The material can absorb about three times its body weight and can be useful for manufacturing ligaments and tendons. It can also be useful for making airbags for cars and bulletproof vests. From an ethical perspective, they say that this gene modification neither imposes any health hazards nor any behavioral changes in the goats. We will just have to wait and see. Number nine, the glowfish. The lights out on an earth hour definitely won't stop your colorful glowfish from glowing. Too bad its genes won't allow it. This fish was first mutated in 1999 by Dr. Xin Wan Gong, who, along with his teammates, was working on a luminescence protein in jellyfish. The team harvested this protein and injected it into a zebra fish's embryo. Why? The main motivation behind this experiment was to design a fish that could detect the presence of toxins for quantifying oceanic pollutions. In theory, these scientists were trying to do something good, but I'm not sure about the ethical implications. That is up for you to decide. The experiment turned out to be a huge success, both scientifically and commercially. Aquarium enthusiasts loved them, and the glowfish became the first and only genetically altered animal to exist as a domestic pet on a large scale. This glimmering fish can be made in several bright colors and is the most popular children's choice at a pet store. These fish are able to absorb light from their surroundings and then re-emit it, which gives it that captivating glow. Also, if you happen to have a power outage, an aquarium with a bunch of glowfish might be helpful in case you stumble around in the dark. Number 8. Sudden Death Mosquito Hate mosquitoes? You can't kill them all, but you most certainly can stop them from multiplying. Scientists from British biotech company Oxitec have developed a genetically modified mosquito that could be the end of viruses that cause millions of infections and deaths each year due to malaria, dengue, and all other kinds of diseases. This new breed of mosquito produces flightless females and practically sterile males that either cannot reproduce or whose offspring die before reaching maturity. Oxitec released the mosquitoes with the altered deadly protein onto an island. The transfer of bad genes sometimes even killed the female mosquitoes before they could reproduce, resulting in an overall decrease in the mosquito population, hence the name sudden death. Death for them, not for you. However, this experiment has been highly criticized by scientists and environmentalists who argue it is unethical to wipe out an entire species. There also might be huge negative effects on the ecosystem. What can be good about mosquitoes? Who cares about them anyway? Well, according to Nature magazine, without mosquitoes, thousands of plant species would lose their pollinators and many animal species would lose their food source. However, it is very interesting that many scientists and researchers say that the niche would be filled quickly by other organisms and life might go on just as before or even better. The inventors of the sudden death mosquito argue that this project would help humans fight off deadly diseases, but it is very hard to say what the consequences to the global ecosystem might be. Number seven, fast growing salmon. Fish, especially salmon, is an important source of proteins and amino acids. Aqua Advantage salmon, developed by Aqua Bounty, is a genetically modified salmon that has been altered to make it grow faster and twice as big compared to its natural form. This company aspires to create a cost-effective solution for the bulk production of fish meat. In captivity, a fully grown hybrid would yield almost double proportions of filet with equal nutritional value. The hybrid mutation cannot reproduce and thus poses no threats to aquatic life in case it ever manages to escape into the wild. It would be the first genetically modified animal that was FDA approved. In August 2017, Aqua Bounty said its transgenic fish had finally hit the market after a 25-year wait. When it first launched in Canada, they sold four and a half tons. This could potentially be a great boost for the inland fish farming industry, which might have to wait much longer for normal fish to grow. 
If this trend were to become popular, it could decrease the amount of overfishing and ocean farming, helping the marine ecosystem to recover. Aqua Bounty's new fish has terrified others working in animal biotechnology, and it will most likely be a few years before it hits markets in the US. Would you feel comfortable eating this? Let us know what you think in the comments. Number 6. The Vacanti Mouse This laboratory mutation of a mouse is quite a disturbing image. It has an extra growth over its back which resembles a human ear. Its inventor, Charles Vacanti, at the University of Massachusetts Medical School planted cow cartilage cells into a biodegradable mold that resembled a human ear. He implanted this seeded mold under a mouse's skin and observed it for days. The experiment turned out to be successful as the cartilage nurtured naturally under its skin. It could then be harvested for someone who needed a new ear. Shortly after its inception, the photos went viral over the internet. Its unusual and uncanny appearance made people cynical about whether the photos were genuine. The pictures provoked multiple protests and demonstrations terming genetic modification unethical, even though in this particular case, no genes were actually modified. Even though genes were not modified, what do you think about the Vacanti mouse? To learn more about the Vacanti mouse and other experiments, be sure to check out my video on strangest things grown in a lab. Number 5. See-Through Frog Ever dissected a frog in one of your biology classes? Feel bad about it? You don't need to feel that way anymore. In 2007, it was announced that Japanese scientists have created a new kind of glass frog that now possesses a fully translucent body. Not to be confused with the glass frog from the Amazon, it was actually created through traditional selective breeding rather than genetic modification, using wild frogs with a mutation that gives them pale skin. This genetic advantage could help the frog to escape predators in the wild. Little more revealing than Harry Potter's cloak, you can see all kinds of organs such as the heart, liver, digestive glands, eggs, etc. through its transparent skin. Even its blood can be seen gushing through the blood vessels. The good thing for teachers is that they won't have to make students dissect frogs anymore. Scientists can see the organs more closely and observe various diseases and health issues such as the spread and growth of cancer without killing the animal to see what is inside. This genetic modification has undoubtedly made the see-through frog an important instrument in medical testing. Not sure if the frog is so lucky after all. And now for number four, but first, be sure to subscribe. Videos are posted four times a week. Number four, featherless chicken. Meet the new mutation of your favorite domestic bird, a featherless chicken. Scientists at Rehovot Agronomy Institute in Israel have genetically eliminated feathers from the chicken. It was an attempt to help warmer countries to cut down on cooling costs at a poultry farm. Great, so now besides everything else a chicken goes through, now it has to do it naked. Of course, if the companies were able to save money on air conditioning, then they can invest in more meat production. Veterinarians, however, have a different story regarding the featherless birds. They say that by genetically removing the feathers, the chickens are exposed to more diseases compared to normal birds. They have a weaker immune system, which makes it highly exposed to viruses, bacterial infections, parasites, and sunburn. Bird specialists have also criticized this modification in chickens. According to them, roosters use their wings while mating and removing flap feathers prevents them from practicing their natural mating technique. It can change the entire nature of the animal and make humans more exposed to illness. It is strange to imagine that it is cheaper to genetically modify an animal to suit your needs than to pay for air conditioning. Number 3. Sterile Pink Bullworm A regular pink bullworm used to be a farmer's worst nightmare. Also known as Pinky, it was regarded as one of the most unwanted pests in America and accounted for at least $21 million in lost crops every year. In the early 2000s, a genetic modification project was initiated. Scientists took a group of pinkies and made them sterile. Over four years, the modified sterile adult moths of the pinky were released over the state of Arizona in an effort to control the toxin-resistant population that had taken over the state. Farmers had to agree not to spray any toxins in order not to kill the new population and had to trust that the moths being released actually were sterile. If not, they would have an even bigger crisis on their hands. These sterile moths competed for partners, food, and survival along with the regular population. This resulted in a massive decrease of the pinky population by almost half just in the first round. The experiment turned out to be a huge success with an almost full elimination of the population in the infected area. Number 2. The Belgian Blue Think only humans can compete for Mr. Olympia? Meet this new mammoth breed, the new Belgian Blue Super Cow. Contrary to popular belief, this beast is not created with the use of any steroids. Rather, it can serve as a great example to demonstrate how much genetic control could be achieved by selective breeding. As the name indicates, this breed comes from Belgium. It was initially a result of crossing a shorthorn breed along with a Chateau Lake cattle breed from France. 
The modern breed, however, was invented by Professor Hansett, whose major works revolve around artificial insemination. In the U.S., it was first introduced by Nick Tutt, who demonstrated this breed to locals in Texas. The animal has compounded muscle fibers which result in an Arnold Schwarzenegger-like body, heavy muscle mass, and lean meat. However, these magnificent beasts are exposed to other health issues, mainly resulting from an increased muscle mass. Also, the giant structure causes stiffness in the leg joints. The Belgian blue heifers have narrow birth canals that make it difficult to give birth, and they are always assisted by C-sections. The calves have long tongues which make it quite hard for them to feed naturally. The bulls also have lesser fertility compared to other parent species. In their recent study, the USDA has declared Belgian Blue's meat to be the healthiest in terms of high proteins and lowest fat content. Number 1. Lab-Made Chimeras If modifying mosquitoes bothers you, then you'd better prepare for this one. Scientists at Salk Institute for Biological Studies in La Jolla, California have declared to have created a pig-human hybrid creature. According to them, this pig man was made successfully at one of their labs. According to them, the embryos were allowed to grow up to 28 days, a quarter of a pig's pregnancy, in a pig's womb before being aborted. This is done to study how a human's and a pig's embryo interact and grow. Abortion is done in a timely manner so as to avoid any backlash over ethical concerns. So 28 days is the ethical line, apparently. The idea behind mixing animal and human genes in the first place is to create an intelligent species that more or less have a human-like aptitude at solving basic errands. It could be a kind of human-slash-animal assistant. Scientists also argue that mixing genes could lead to the development of human tissues and organs which could later be harvested for transplant patients. Are you concerned yet about where this is going? Thanks for watching! What do you think are the moral implications of this kind of experimentation? Do you think genetic modification should be allowed? Let us know in the comments below. Remember to subscribe and I'll see you next time! Bye everyone!